I'm really interested in the idea of breathing and, you know, that we've lost connection to our breath as people. And um, particularly now, I'm very aware of air because of everything we hear in the news about climate. And, and I've been working with scientists and looking at atmospheres that go back to the, you know, the very beginning of time. I looked at Trinity when I was applying for the project and I, I saw it sort of as in the metaphysical form you know, when you think about sutra and breath and Eastern philosophy, I started to think about the architecture of Dublin and that Trinity is in the heart of, of uh, Dublin. And that if you look at it, you know, that the front door can be the mouth. And as you walk towards the Campanile, that can be the heart. So the veins and estuaries and all the energy systems that come off that, that the two trees, the, you know, the Oregon maples to me were like the lung. Um, ironically, and very sadly, during the drought this summer, both of the Oregon maples um, came down. So I spent, I witnessed that for a month. I was with my camera in front in, in Library Square and while they were taking down the tree, I time-lapsed all, all of the coming down. And then the second tree, the sister tree, they say came down in sympathy in a way because the roots were attached. I managed to go on a lot of different field trips as research for the, for the project. And um, it's been really rich, interesting time. When we went to Mount Etna with the Trinity College scientists this summer, we went to, you know, it's the most explosive volcano in Italy, in fact in Europe. And I was thinking about this idea of how volcanoes have always been seen as a threat to man, you know. But actually what we discovered is that, you know, volcanoes have the ability to um, sequest carbon, to suck it out. So in a way, I started to think about you know, looking for a remedy for what's happening in our climate at the moment. And this search that I've been, you know, I've been undertaking for a while of, of looking at different ways of finding plants that have survived through different epochs and now ash that has the ability to suck out some of the carbon from our atmosphere. The Trinity Creative Project's given me a real opportunity to, um, to take the time, you know, to kind of settle into looking at lots of different ways of expanding my practice and my inquiry about um, kind of ecology. So it's been, it's been really uh, helpful and uh, yeah, it's been an extraordinary opportunity.